So on my last video, um, of building a rabbit hutch, it wasn't very detailed, and I want to make another one. It's basically like the same thing, but it's a little bit longer. And better. And better. So I'm gonna try to explain a little, a little bit more in this one. So even though I'm trying to um, show you more of the details into building it, I'm gonna try to make it a little bit shorter than the last video because it was like 24 minutes long, I think. That's a really long time, so yeah. I went ahead and set up my workbench out here in the grass because our shop is a mess because of this boy. Too many projects. Just like those two hutches that I built, the front legs are going to be 48 inches long. I'll show you on this one. It's these pieces here. So those be four foot tall. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut. Um, the whole hutch is going to be six feet long. So, six feet here, um, and then seven inches shorter than 72, so that is 65. We have to mark it off at two foot from that end so that we have a two foot leg. And then you just screw it in. All right, so I just cut the rest of the legs and the uh, other two six foot um, or the 65 inch pieces. So the back legs, since it's going to be shorter than the front, we have to cut it to 42 inches instead of 48 inches because we're going to have a six foot drop. So that was all the two by fours I had at the moment. So I got to go to the store and buy some but before that. I gotta screw this together real quick. All right, now it is screwed together. It's magical. So before you screw it together, you got to mark off at 18 inches from the top so that you have a two foot leg going from there to there. And you gotta do it on both sides, so then you screw it together. All right. So, since my other saw wanted to keep on cutting itself in half, right there, and it keeps on wanting to trip the breaker every time I try to plug it up, I went and bought me a brand new saw. So we're gonna do a little unboxing clip right here. If I can get it out. Anyways, I'm pulling the box. Cool. Alright, now we have to figure out how to use 
There we go. Look at that. Brand new Dewalt. Brand new blade. Kind of mad at it. And it's in batteries with it. But well. We had to cut 21 inch pieces to go between these two pieces. The two, the, the two pieces of frame. Then we have a, a box. Not just two pieces of wood. We're putting boards in the middle every two feet so that it's easier to make how many ever cages you want. One, two, three, it don't matter. I just put the wire in and this is um, half inch fiber cloth. Anyone can use really any other wire um, for this, but I prefer this stuff because it's small enough to keep the baby bunnies in when they're just babies. And it's just large enough to um, allow the poo poo to go through. So that's what I use. Okay, so I just put these pieces of wood in. The, um, have doors in the front. So I have three doors one here, one there, and one there. And it's going to be three separate cages. So um, one cage, second cage, third cage. There's gonna be the back here, and this is all gonna be plywood there. And I needed those so that I could screw the plywood to. So since I've done that, it is time to cut the plywood to go onto the back and the sides. So the sides to our hutch are 18 inches um, on the short side and on the tall side, which is there, there are two foot and it's two foot across.
you have to make um, the walls for the gauges, the separators. Um, so in the back, to the point, right up back, there, right there, it's 14 inches on the bottom, and then up here, it's uh, 18 inches, like right there, to down here, and then we got a 24 inch width. So I already measured it and drew the lines. I'm just gonna cut it now. Cut the wall and put it in. You might have to put, or you, you're going, to, you're going to have to put some notches in it so it can fit through the over the two by fours. And then you just screw it in. You want to use um, uh, two by twos. I just take the two by four and cut it in half, and then you have a two by two. But anyway, you want to cut it just a little bit short of the actual distance between you know the door so that it actually fits and get some plays in okay so anyway the two by two sits right in there and you want to have it a little bit shorter so that you have some play room and you don't have a sticky door but since that piece is hung up you want to have two of those. You're going to go sit right there. And then the other one is right there. So you have a little bit of room on the side. Scoot it over. Close that gap. Alright. So all the doors are made. And in like one second, they'll all be on. So, they are on. Look at that. The roof on the hutch is complete. It is really nice and pretty.